What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you some of my first impressions for Jade Empire, which is a game I was aware of but never really played at all. Now this game originally released in 2005 on the Xbox but saw a PC release all the way back in 2007. This was BioWare's first original RPG IP after working on things like Baldur's Gate, and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is a game I had largely seen people talk about favorably, but again, had no experience with myself. I saw one person play it back in high school, but never personally touched it at all. Now that said, first impressions of the game actually don't have much to do with the game itself, but rather getting the thing running. So I bought the Steam version like I usually do, and in classic Steam fashion, the game doesn't like to run without you tweaking it first. So if you buy this game on Steam, there's a few very well-documented issues, and I'm told some of these issues even persist on GOG, actually. The fix is very simple. You just have to go into the files and alter a few things, and then it'll run perfectly fine, which is actually kind of annoying because if the fix is that simple, I would really like the people selling the damn game to fix it, especially when the task largely seems like a one-person job, especially considering that Despite it being very simple, some people just aren't comfortable altering game files. Now, personally, I don't mind doing that at all. And again, you really only have to go into about two files and change a couple of tiny things, which is an incredibly easy fix that will fix the game not launching for you. And then subsequently also fix the incredible stutter the game has if you don't go in and fix this. But once you actually get the game up and running, you get to dive in, create a character, and, you know, of course, play the game. But the character creation in particular stood out to me because it almost seemed like a bit of a step backwards from Bioware's previous work. As you largely pick a pre-generated character, and then if you want, you can customize some of their individual stats. But there's no option to change things like appearances, etc. And then the stats itself largely boil down to health, chi, and focus. And increases to those stats will affect their sort of child stat, which is charm, intimidation, or like speech. Which again, for a Bioware game, was a bit underwhelming considering their pedigree up to this point. Gameplay-wise, it is much more action-focused than the previous titles that Bioware had worked on, of course. But honestly, overall, I like it. It kind of definitely has that sort of silly martial arts movie, like almost like someone decided to make a game out of a cheesy kung fu movie, which honestly translates to a video game pretty well. There is some sort of supernatural stuff going on with, of course, the martial arts themselves, but also there are ghosts present like right at the beginning of the game, which is a thing. And then it's my understanding that the game veers towards a pretty fantastical approach, which isn't unwelcome. I like a great deal of fantasy in my games personally. It just sort of subverted my initial expectation of it being a more strictly martial arts focused thing. But again, the combat is very action oriented and a lot of the nuance of it really seems to be switching between the various martial arts styles or weapons available to your character and stringing together combos and then blocking against characters as well as breaking through their blocks and countering their moves etc which is a pretty big shift away from the sort of real time with pause in third person that we saw with the likes of the star wars knights of the old republic series or even dragon age origins a little later after this game but overall, my first impressions are there's some difficulty getting the game running, but once you actually jump into the game, it has a lot of very unique charm, and I can see why people enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to diving into the rest of the game. And while I personally would have preferred a bit more RPG in the character creation and some of the execution in game so far, it nonetheless is a game that honestly kind of oozes charm and, again, plays like a bit of a cheesy kung fu movie, which I'm honestly a fan of. But there you go, guys, some first impressions for jade empire hope you enjoyed the video if you did please remember to like comment subscribe all that youtube jazz but regardless of any of that truly just thank you so much for watching may you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day